Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode of Game Cops Talk with Captain Will. I am your man, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Game Cops Talk with Captain Will so I can continue to bring you that gospel of Game Cops every single day. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Gamecocks Talk. Follow me on Instagram at Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. And follow me wherever you may get your podcast, be it Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you may get your podcast, you can find Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. We got a good one today, y'all. I said we got a good one today, y'all. We are talking about a top 10 matchup of the South Carolina Gamecocks, three time, three time, three time, three time national champions. Versus the Duke women's basketball team back in Colonial Life Arena. It seems like it's been forever since we played at Colonial Life Arena. It's been years. It's been uh, decades. It's been so long since we played at Colonial Life Arena. I can't remember last time we was there. It's been that long. We've been on the road forever. But we are back, Colonial Life Arena. Um, and they're doing this special uh, teddy bear Toss, which is always fun, and doing a pajama party, pajama uh, dress up, if you will, and make sure you wear something appropriate. Make sure you wear something appropriate for pajama uh, day today. Don't have no crazy stuff going on in Colonial Life Arena, South Carolina women's basketball team, and we make it CNN tomorrow. We don't want none of that. We don't want none of that stuff like that. Race, wear something nice. Wear something nice. And for South Carolina, playing another really good basketball team. So, uh, Duke is currently ranked, you know, eighth in the net ranking, eighth in the AP poll. They are eight and one. They are really good. Carol Lawson is a excellent coach and in, 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 in a lot of ways is similar to Don Staley. And they have a strength of schedule of fourth in the country, which means they have played some high quality basketball teams. They are a solid Team coming to Colonial Life Arena that looks to stop our winning streak. They've lost one basketball game, like I mentioned, and that was to Maryland. Maryland, 16th ranked, and they lost that game by five. They beat a 42nd ranked South Dakota uh, State team by four. They beat an 11th ranked Kansas State team by 11. They beat a, 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 a wonderful uh, Oklahoma team. That was uh, top 10 in the country in terms of net ranking by 10 points in overtime. They beat a 47th ranked Columbia by six. Duke is battle tested. Do this uh, atmosphere, because we played Duke before last year, it was at Duke and it was a slow paced game and we won that basketball game. This game Tomorrow night at 9 p.m. So make sure you take a nap. And this is for my, my, my folks, especially on my show, the old heads. Make sure you take a nap so you can watch this game. And, and no issues because the game won't end probably about 11.15, 11.30. Because before then, you got Texas and Notre Dame playing, okay, on ESPN. So make sure you take a nap. I'm talking specifically to my mama. Mama, make sure you take a nap so you can watch this game, okay? So. This basketball team is built around really, I'm not going to say three. I'm, yeah, I am going to say they are built around three players. Three players on this team really uh, uh, stand out to me. And it's led by the, 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 the guard rotation and the new freshman phenom, Toby Fournier. Okay. Offensively. Okay. The offensive rating is a 29th in the country with the offensive rating 108.6. Ladies and gentlemen, that's good. Okay. And compared to, to South Carolina's 20th in offensive rating, you know, 112.7 field goal percentage is in our, is in their favorite at 21st in terms of field goal percentage at 48%. We are 64th in, in, in field goal percentage with 45%, two point percentage. They are 63rd. 63rd, we 50, uh, we are 111. Three point percentage, they are a good. No, they're not good. They're really good. They are an excellent three-point shooting basketball team. They are 16th in the country in shooting the three-point ball. Okay? Right now, they are shooting a, 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 a 39%. Last season, we shot 39.5%. 
It's only through nine games for them, but they are shooting at an outstanding clip. And defending the three-point line is paramount for this team going against uh, a Duke. Because we haven't defended the three well. Not at all. We didn't defend the three well. At this point right now, we are 297 in terms of defending the three-point basket. That is not the way we're going to win this basketball game. If we let their players shoot, 40% from the from the three, it's going to be a long day for South Carolina fans. We have to do a much better job in terms of defending the three-point line. Make no mistake about it. We have to, all right? In terms of assisted turnover ratio, they take care of the ball well. We take care of the ball well. They're 32nd, we're 20th, okay? There are a lot of similarities in this basketball team, uh, teams, I should say, offensively. Uh, fewest turnovers per game, we are far in ahead because we're not, we're not turning the ball over much. We're 19th in the country at 12 turnovers. They are 200, excuse me, they're 120th in, term, in, in terms of uh, turning the ball over at 16. Okay? So, steals, putting pressure on the ball, making sure they, they uh, commit turnovers is important for us to win this basketball game. Um, assists per game. I've said before over and over again, again that we're not getting the assists that we normally would get over the past four years. Uh, we're currently 72nd in the country in terms of assists. Okay, We are rising over the last two games, but we're only averaging, and I say only, we're only averaging about 15 assists per game, which is also bringing down our assist percentage. Our assist percentage is 297th in the country. Duke's assist percentage is 108. See what that is? See what that is? In assists per game, they are 18th. We second 76, 72nd, I should say. We got to do a better job of finishing at the basket for one. And we also got to do a better job of rotating the ball around to find the open, open player and hit those uncontested shots. We got to hit those open shots. We are back to the friendly confines of Colonial Life Arena, and I believe that some, uh, it's going to be a much better overall shooting a uh, percentage for this basketball team. And defensively, this is where the game is going to be won or loss, I believe. Defensively for South Carolina, we are playing a uh, very good defense. We're 25th in the country in terms of defense right now. Uh, Duke is 78th. You know, they are solid. They're just not as good as us, and we are almost excellent. 25th in the country is is is, is, is getting close to excellent. It's getting close. We need to get in the top 15. Right now we're 25th. Field goal percentage allowed. We're 30th. Duke is 117th. So they got some work to do. They gotta they gotta stop us as well. They gotta defend as well, you know. Yeah, because because 117th in terms of 74th in terms of field goal percentage against a South Carolina basketball team that is hot right now is important to talk about. Our defense is gonna play defense. Right now, we, our field goal percentage allowed is uh 30%. You know, we are a uh, 36%. We are 30th in the country. In that regard, so defense is going to travel, but we ain't got to travel nowhere. We ain't got to travel nowhere. We, we playing at home. We are where we supposed to be. And Duke got to travel. Duke got to get on that bus and come on down to Colonial Life Arena. Come on down to the home of Sweet Tea and Pig Feet. That's what they got to do. We are home and home and home. You know. So defensively, I think we got to answer for their best three players, who we're going to talk about in a few minutes. You know, and and, and rebounds. We're on, we're on the tear right now. Through two, the last two basketball games, we are on a offensive rebound, defensive rebound, and total rebound tear. We have to continue that. We got to uh, continue to be aggressive, continue to go to the basketball, and continue to fight for the basketball. We're currently, right now, in terms of offensive rebound percentage, we are six in the country. Duke is also an excellent offensive rebounding team. They are 22nd in the country. So what it comes down to, really, it comes down to defensive rebounding. Comes a defensive rebound and it won't too. We're 39th in defensive rebounding. Duke is 88th. Okay. So we got to die for the loose balls. We got to get grimy. We got to get dirty. We got to get nasty and, and make this uh, into a, 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 a fight to get that basketball and get those extra possessions. We are bigger. We are stronger. And we are more talented to do than do. Okay. But we have to get the rebounds. Okay, we've been doing a great job last two games, like I said before, but we got to continue that against a very good, experienced Duke basketball team. Blocks, 
We are a better shot blocking team than Duke. Um, we're averaging about six block shots per game. They're averaging about four. We're not right at this point right now. We're not averaging a nine, a uh, ten shot blocker, shot, um, block shots like we've done in the past. It's about six block shots, but things are done differently for South Carolina Gamecocks. I believe the defense will lead us to a, a, a good outcome in tomorrow because Ashlyn Jackson, the six foot guard who's averaging, you know, 29 minutes, about 15 points, shooting 49% from the uh, field, shooting 46% from three, a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists, is a baller. You know, and it, 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 I believe she's the Duke's best player. I think she's their best player. She has offensive rating of 128, have a defensive rating of 89.3. This is this is the time for 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 uh, Raven Johnson to shine, okay? Ashlyn Watkins, Ashlyn Watkins, Ashlyn Jackson is six feet. She's a big guard. This is an opportunity for Raven Johnson. Her defensive rating is seventy seven point eight. Bree Hall, her defensive rating is eighty one point four. Malaysia Fullwiler, her defensive rating is seventy nine. To guard. Jackson, well, we cannot have a situation while, while, while Ashlyn Jackson getting 20, 22 points in this game. We can't have that. If, if, if she gets 20, 22 points in this basketball game, that we, we are missing the mark. Okay? We are definitely missing the mark. So this is a chance for our quality perimeter defenders to make their money. This is the opportunity opportunity to get right and their second best player some might say their best player is a player that was 10th in the 2024 recruiting class it was a player that i wanted to be a game cop her name is toby fournier and she is from canada right now she's averaging 17 minutes a game okay but she's also their third leading scorer at 12 points per game, shooting 55% from the field, four rebounds, one steal, one block, and only one turnover. She has an offensive rating of 119.3 and a defensive rating of 80.2. She's come out, she comes off the bench. Okay. So if she comes off the bench, this is the chance for our post defenders. And I believe completely in our post defenders coming off the bench. And Ashley Watkins, who right now has a defensive rating of 69, and Joyce Edwards, who have a defensive rating of 73.2. It is time to step up. It is time to get going. It is time to show them why we are the best. It is time. Toby is their best uh, post player, and I believe completely that we have the best post defenders in the country. Toby ain't six foot seven. She ain't six foot eight. So this ain't no situation that we got to deal with uh, like we did Lauren Betts. Or we got uh, Sedona Prince who's coming up on, on Sunday with TCU. This is six foot two. Okay? And if it's even, we leaving. That's the facts. That's facts. I mean, come on. Joyce is six foot three. Watkins six foot three. Fagan six foot three. Who's been playing some excellent defense. This is time to turn it up. And, and and show everybody the Gamecocks are back and ready to deal with it. And it starts defensively. Shut down Toby. Shut down Jackson. Just shut him down. The second best defender, or just, should I say the second best uh, perimeter player, the third best player on the team is Reagan Richardson. She's a 5'11 guard. She plays 27 minutes per game. She's averaging 15 points, okay? She's shooting 48% from the field. She's shooting 43% from three. Three rebounds, two assists, one steal, two turnovers. I have a defensive rating of 91.5 and an offensive rating of 114.4. Those two players, and Jackson and Richardson, two, they start four guards, okay? They start four guards, but those two shoot the majority of their shots, okay? So between those two players, it's 30 points. You throw in, you know, Toby, you're talking about, 42 points of offense for this Duke basketball team. 
we have to slow them down. Not saying we're going to stop them. Not saying that, but we need to slow them down. Jaden Donovan in her sophomore year with Duke, six foot guard, 25 minutes a game, eight points, shooting 44% from the field. She doesn't shoot any three pointers, okay? She's averaging seven rebounds. This is a guard, averaging 8.7 rebounds, three assists, one block, two turnovers. Uh, her defensive rating is 72.2. She is their best defender. If she is their best defender, I believe that she is going to guard Tahina Pow Pow. And if Tina Pow Pow is not in the game and Tessa Johnson is in the game, I think uh, Jaden Donovan is going to guard Tessa Johnson. All right. So she is a good to really good defender. Offensive, she has an offensive rate of 98.6. If, if Tessa and, 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 and um, Powell is in the lineup at the same time, good luck. Because you can't guard both of them. Can't guard both of them. Jackson is an okay defender, and Richardson is an uh, okay defender, but neither one of them is good as defending the basketball as Donovan. When Donovan goes out the basketball game, she plays about 25 minutes. Okay. That's when we score a lot. Make them pay for it. Make them pay for it. Make Donovan play 38 minutes. Make them get tired. Cause we, cause when 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 Te when, when Powell comes out the game and we got Tessa, then you got Malaysia Fullwilder, you got Maddie, you got so many guards that we can go to. But give them work, give them work. This game for 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 South Carolina is going to be. It's all about matchups. It really is. Richardson and Jackson shoots thirty five percent of their shots. Okay. They. Average between the two of them, 48% from the field. They average between the two of them, 45% from three. They shoot 56% of their three point attempts. Garden, these two are vital to a victory for the South Carolina game. Cost the three time, three time, three time national champions. It is vital. And, 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 uh, like, they, they, our guards got a guard. They, they got a guard. If we have the best guard perimeter players in the country, they got a guard today or tomorrow, I should say. It's it, it, that simple. They shoot the three basketball well. We have to stop them shooting the three basketball. That is it. Cut and dry. They, those two players shooting 45% for three, we got to have them shooting about 28% for three. Make it difficult. Whatever we need to do, make it difficult to do that. Second thing, we got to slow down Toby Fournier. I love that, Fournier. Like, it's French, Fournier. I love that, Fournier, okay? Post-defense, post-defense, post-defense. I talk a whole lot about defensive rating, defensive rating, defensive rating. That is a stat that I love to talk about because if you have a excellent Defensive rating, that means that you are guarded. Cut and dry. Cut and dry. I believe that Ashton Watkins was, if not the best defender in the country last year, because number one, she had the lowest defensive rating in the country. And I believe that she still is one of the best defenders in the country. And we have Joyce Edwards, who is defending very well. We have Sanaya Fagan, who's, Fagan, who's defending very well. We have Chloe Kiss, who defended so great. I see no scenario where we can't slow or, or, or shut down Toby. I just don't. I don't see it. She's a really good basketball player, but we come at you in waves and I don't see anything different on tomorrow guarding her in the post. I think she's going to, she will definitely get some shots. She can get some shots. She's a good basketball player, but this is not no domination. This is not a situation where she's going to score 20, 22 points in this game. No. Everywhere she goes, Joyce need to follow her. If she going to the concession stand, Joyce need to follow her. If she going to, to, to the bench, why can't she to follow her? If she is going anywhere on the court, Chloe needs to follow her. Chloe, Fagan, Joyce, and Watkins, our post-defensive depth 
is going to win this basketball game. We need to continue to grow as an offense. We have to continue the trends of the last two basketball games, continue to move the ball, continue to uh, showcase our depth. All right, so take great shots. You know, uh, our youngsters and, and, and Joyce and Maddie has been exceptional. I saw this, uh, this, this you know, with Joyce making the SEC Freshman of the Week. Maddie playing sensational basketball, assist to turnover ratio out of this world. That needs to continue to grow because both of them are getting a lot of minutes by King Gamecock standards. So they're going to play a lot tomorrow. Sanaya Fagan is looking more and more comfortable in her role. Her role is to start the basketball game. She's going to play 15 to 18 minutes. She's going to do her job very well. And then she's going to uh, come out the basketball game. And, and, and that's when you'll see some Joyce and some Watkins and so forth. But she is playing her game right now. And I'm so happy for Sanaya, White, uh, Sanaya, Sanaya Fagan. I'm just happy. Overjoyed. Happy for the family. Happy for everyone that has supported her and watched her get better and better and better. It's, it's so it's so nice. Prediction for this game, I believe Raven, Bree, and Malaysia would neutralize Richardson and, and, and Jackson. They're not going to get 30 points between them. No. They're going to get 30 points between them. If they get 40, 45 points, it's going to be a long day at Colonial Life Arena. Okay? But I believe that our trio of guards, we can actually go to a quadruple of guards guarding those two players, are going to slow them down to a combined, let's say, 22 points on tomorrow night. I believe that Joyce and Watkins and Chloe will, honestly, I believe they're going to shut down Toby. I don't think that she's going to be a factor in tomorrow's game. I don't. I could be dead wrong. Her 12 points, what if she gets 24 points? I could be dead wrong, but I believe in our defenders, and I believe that they're going to – they got – Don Staley has a great game plan for her. I'm expecting a big game from Chloe, and I'm expecting a big game from Joyce. I don't think they can defend well in the post. Not well enough to shut down those two players. I don't think so. I think both of those players are going are on double double watch against Duke. I believe that it's going to be tough early on, but Carolina's depth will ring true, and we will beat Duke by twelve to fifteen points, and everybody will be happy and get ready for TCU. This concludes another episode of Gamecock Talk with Captain Will. I am your man, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and make sure you subscribe to Gamecock Talk with Captain Will so I continue to bring you that gospel of Gamecocks every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now, you're now rocking with the best. And since you are rocking with the best, come rock with your man, Captain Will. Let's go. <laughs>